thanks to an unlikely treatment prescribed by his wife, Dr. Mary Newport, a physician who runs a neonatology ward at a Tampa, Florida hospital. She became determined to help her husband after he failed the so-called Alzheimer's clock test. He drew a few little circles and uh, several numbers just in a very random pattern, didn't really look anything like a clock. And the doctor pulled me aside and she said, you know, he's actually on the verge of severe Alzheimer's at this point. He's uh, beyond moderate. So um, that was very, very devastating news. Dr. Newport began learning everything she could about her husband's disease. It appears to be a type of diabetes of the brain. Um, and it's a process that starts happening uh, at least 10 or 20 years before you start having symptoms. And it's very similar to type 1 or type 2 diabetes in that develop um, a problem with insulin. In this case, insulin problems prevent brain cells from accepting glucose, their primary fuel. Without it, the cells eventually die. But there is an alternative fuel, ketones, which the cells easily accept. Ketones are metabolized in the liver after you eat medium-chain triglycerides, which are found in coconut oil. So Dr. Newport added coconut oil to Steve's diet. Just two weeks later, he took the clock test again and, as you can see, demonstrated stunning improvement.